You bunch of cowards! I was a step away from victory. A step away from victory. Oh, please! You can continue your war on your own now, you do. We only wanted the rain. Now we have it and we can go home. Ungrateful. Damn you, you'll pay for this. the drought, then too much water. Poor us. We're ruined. Yes, you're right, but how can we be so sure that all this rain isn't a blessing in disguise after all? Whilst the peasants were now moaning about too much water, poor old Chang was exhausted and couldn't continue flying to escape the dragon that was following him. Since he thought he had no choice, he decided that the only thing he could do was to surrender and accept the inevitable situation. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mulan, but I can't carry on like this. I feel like I'm losing all my energy. Forgive me, unfortunately, it's the end. We're doomed, I'm afraid. Well, look who's here, oh. my two beloved birds. So are you ready to die? Come on, we can't give up like this. <clears throat> hey, what's this? But you're a girl. And a very beautiful girl at that. I knew there was something strange about you. I knew it. I just simply knew it. Yes, I'm a girl, but this won't stop me from killing you, you horrible, ugly monster. Hey, you've got the Emperor's sacred sword. Who gave it to you? I must have it. I want it. It's mine. And you shall have it, but through your wicked heart, that's for sure, monster. <sighs> my dear, the person who'll drive a sword through my heart has yet to walk this earth. If you think you'll beat me, you're truly uh, mistaken, silly girl. Here, better give that to me. You'll cut yourself. Let's see this duel. From a distance and with the driving rain, I was confused. But now I've seen it from close up. I realize that it isn't the Emperor's real sacred sword. It's only a vulgar imitation. And you, how do you dare trick me? You'll die for this. In fact, both of you will die. I'll reduce you to ashes. No, I'll torture you first. And so you'll die slowly, cut to pieces by my sharp claws. This is the punishment you deserve, I think. I'll reduce you to ashes. Huh? I'll cut you to pieces. Don't just stand there talking. Shut up and kill them. What are you waiting for? You do. Where the devil have you been? I've been searching practically everywhere for you, but I couldn't find you or your army. Army, you say? A herd of cowards, I'd say. Not an army. They've all gone and left me on my own. Then it's better that we go at once. Exactly. It's better if we go immediately. Come on. Hurry up. Get rid of the dragon and that silly girl, and then we shall go. No, wait. I've changed my mind. Give me that sword. I want to kill them personally. Mm. It'll give me personal satisfaction to destroy those nosy kids. Hey, partner. What happened to you? Oh, I've been hit. What on earth hit you? Don't tell me it was the Revenge of the God. That's it. Tease me. You know very well it was that damned lightning attracted by the metal of this useless sword. Yeah, thank goodness you took it. Otherwise, it would have hit me, and I wouldn't have been very glad of that. Hey, where's my precious box gone? I can't find my box anymore. Do you think it was burnt by that damned lightning? Look on the branch. Is that one over there? Yes, that's it. Now, who the heck put it there? It seems clear to me the lightning has suddenly held it up there. Get it for me. Mm-hmm. It looks in a bad way, all burnt up. Look. It doesn't matter. Get it for me anyway. Come on, move it. All right, as you wish. But I warn you, it's half broken. It looks as if it's about to open. Oop. No! 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 Ah! 
Oh no, damn it, that's all I needed. Chen, what's happening to you? Oh, I knew it, I knew it. That's why I was exhausted. I only had half a soul, but now I'm a complete dragon again. Hurrah! Hmm? Chen, this is a wonderful thing. Now you really are in magnificent shape. I'm in great shape. Now I feel great. And I'll show you immediately. Look what I'm about to do. <laughs> Fantastic, Chang. Your flames dissolved that really large cloud above our heads, and it has stopped raining here at last. Modestly speaking, I'm a phenomenon, I know that. Oh dear, don't you understand? Let's leave immediately and shoot flames at the rest of the clouds in the sky too. Then the good weather will return all over China, we'll overcome the danger of the flood, and we'll save the peasants' rice fields, and finally our people shall live in peace. Good idea, Mulan. You're a genius, you know that. I wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> Come on, get yourself up and let's leave this place immediately. Ah! Ah! Coward, you hit him treacherously, vile and mean! <laughs> Did you like that trick? As you can see, both of you are going nowhere. We instead will fly immediately to bombard the Imperial troops with balls of fire. Bye, children! Bye! Chang, Chang, oh how are you, fellow? Please wake up or everything will be lost. Uh, what's happened to me, Mulan? Tell me, please. The dragon, Yazu's friend, has knocked you out treacherously with one of his terrible flames. <gasps> what? Where is the traitor? Where is he? I want to reduce him to pulp. He's flown away with Yuzu. Hey, you hurry. Let's follow them. We have to stop them before they cause other trouble. I can't see the Imperial troops yet. And you? No, but I can see that damned dragon. Chang has recovered soon, and he is following us with the girl who has the fake Emperor sword. How is it possible? My flames are usually unforgiving. I thought I'd kill him. It seems as if he has more lives than a cat. Look! All right, now I'm angry enough to kill him once and for all. Now it's between you and me, stupid dragon. You're doomed. You haven't got a chance. There they are, Chang. They're coming towards us. Don't worry, I'll see to it. Fire! Missed! <laughs> now it's my turn! Now he's behind us. Just wait and see, Mullen. Prepare to take this one, my big friend! Spot on! Oh! Hooray, Chang! We've done it! Now they won't be able to hurt anybody anymore! Thanks to you, Mulan, and with me, there's a little joke about it. When I get angry, I'm really very dangerous. I warn you, be careful, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then, after having defeated the two evil creatures, Chang the dragon, with Mulan on his back, flew backwards and forwards over the region, firing terrible flames at the black clouds that were full of rain. This dissolved them, bringing back the sun to the entire area that was hit by the terrible flood. So luckily the poor peasants' crops were saved, weren't they? Thanks to Mulan and the dragon Chang, not only were the crops saved, but they were also in abundance, and the serious situation in which the peasants found themselves improved considerably. And then what did Chang and Mulan do? They were invited to the court of the Emperor of China, who wanted to thank them in person for what they had done for their people and for the courage they had shown. Mulan, I must compliment you. You saved our country. You did great things, acting courageously. Thank you, O oh great Emperor. I would like you to know that your words warm up my heart and make me feel deeply happy for the accomplished mission. And then there's your dragon friend, Chang, who did great things. You formed a formidable pair working for the good of our people. And I want to repay you. Dragon Chang will remain at my service for delicate missions on behalf of the Chinese people. In fact, I'm certain that, thanks to him, from now on and for centuries to come, the dragon will become a symbol of our great country. <laughs> as for you, my dear Mulan, I'm pleased to appoint you governor of all the eastern provinces of China as a reward for your remarkable deeds. 
Celestial Emperor, I don't know how to thank you. I'm 